when you find the three, life is better than it was with two. And then you go look for the fourth and the fifth and life gradually gets better and better and better as you implement more of these. So it's not like the way I've seen it. It's not like there's a threshold and once you cross it, things improve. There's a dose response. Life gets better as you implement these things more. Happy Monday, everyone. It's Sophie. And Adi. We're always looking for new ways to support you, and we know firsthand how life can get in the way. So we've created five-minute episodes with motivation from us and our great friends to keep you feeling ignited and inspired no matter what life throws at you. Welcome to the Ignited Motivation Podcast. Mini episodes every Monday. Listen while you brush your teeth. Or on your morning walk. And you'll never miss out on the latest tips and tricks that are keeping us feeling motivated. There are dozens, if not a few hundreds of tools any of us can employ. And odds are you don't need all of them. You need four to five, three to seven. There's a there's a really small number, probably not in the double digits even, of tools you need to regularly implement. The crazy part is nobody can really tell you what those are because different tools fit different people at different times in, in our lives. All we have to do is just give a new tool a try, go all in on it for a really short period of time. I mean, I, I'm a big believer in the results should come pretty quickly if it's the right tool for you. Right. If it's a if it's a struggle for weeks, this may not be the thing. You got to let it go. But it also it doesn't work to not try something and then rule it out. So that's the beauty of this. And then the next piece for us, all of us on here, is to release the shame and the guilt about another tool not working. Because too many of us get in our own head. And we say, hey, all those other people talked about. I don't want to name a specific tool. So that thing, that technique um, being great, but I tried it and I hate it. What's wrong with me? Let it go. I've seen people who are so anxious by meditation, they never want to try it again. And CBT is the thing for them. I've seen people try exercise and hate it, but love sitting down on a pillow for 15 minutes and meditating twice a day. Like, you know, CBT has dozens of tools, right? We have the cost benefit analysis and the, um, and the reality testing and the black and white thinking, like all there's so many tools and obviously tools that we don't even have at Ignite. Try them out. And if they don't work, go, all right, didn't work. Let's go to the next one. And the beauty is, let's say, I'm just drawing a number out of nowhere. Let's say seven tools is your magic number. When you get to the right seven tools for you, life is great. When you find the three, life is better than it was with two. And then you go look for the fourth and the fifth and life gradually gets better and better and better as you implement more of these. So it's not like the way I've seen it. It's not like there's a threshold and once you cross it, things improve. There's a dose response. Life gets better as you implement these things more. And um, that's where the black, black and white thinking really serves us poorly is because if something wasn't perfect, we imagine the, we're hopeless. But each tool can be useless or amazing, and then they can stack up on top of each other. You just listened to the Ignited Motivation Podcast. Did you love the mini dose of motivation? Please let us know. Your feedback and experience is our number one motivator. Leave us a review, subscribe, and share with your favorite people on your favorite apps. And don't forget to catch the next episode every Monday. Because we want to hear from you. So join the conversation and discover bonus content on our website and Instagram. You can find the links in the show notes. Now that you're ignited, what are you motivated to take on?